You know, we started the show to push back on a lot of cynicism and pessimism we're seeing in our country right now. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of challenges in defense and with Russia and China and Iran. Uh, but, you know, what are some of the best reasons to be optimistic about our country and the future of national security? We're the greatest country in the world, the oldest democracy in the world. Uh, despite our problems, uh, the fact is uh, we are much stronger given the diversity of our people, our views, our entrepreneurial culture, our, our, our democratic system of government. And we, we are a hardworking, innovative people who will come together when times are tough. And nobody should ever, uh, you, you know, underestimate what the American people do can do. Well, you know, there's a perception in, in, in among some that U.S. power is is on the decline in the world. We bungled Afghanistan, and and there and, the, and there's issues. But you know, it's other ways. The opposite seems true in the sense that maybe more people are looking to join NATO and looking to us there. And the newly elected, like you said, South Korean president wants strategic nukes in in, in their country. Uh, Shinzo Abe is calling for an end to U.S. to you know strategic ambiguity with Taiwan. So 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 there's like some people really trying to pull us to say you need to be even bigger and stronger and, and, and trusting us and our people who are very cynical. Like how should we be thinking about? Our I would role? never underestimate the United States or the American people. Look, people were saying these things and worse at the end of the Vietnam War in the 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Vietnam men. We had the you know the the culture of the 60s. We had Watergate. All those things. And people thought the country was falling apart then. And then Ronald Reagan came along. And he inspired us once again. He reached, uh, touched us all, reached deep into the roots of, of American culture and inspired us to be better. And we ended up winning the Cold War just a year after he left office. And we built the greatest military ever. And that endures to this day. And so, look, I, I think people would be mistaken to do that. Uh, we, we ebb and flow with the times. I do think the biggest challenge we face today is not Russia or China. It's our political dysfunction in Washington, D.C. What we need is our elected leaders to get their act together, put country first, and really uh, help move the country forward.